there are different configurations for connecting wall switches to spotlights. Here I explain how to do it from the most basic to the most complex. Connecting a simple wall switch to a spotlight. On the left side the electrical circuit for this type of connection is shown, on the right side I will explain it to you step by step. To turn on a spotlight you need two cables, the phase and neutral, or also two phases. These cables must be passed through all the points or octagonal boxes. You can detect which is the phase with a pole finder which is used to detect the active phase or line, this is a screwdriver type that you can find in any hardware store. This instrument when we place the tip in the cable that is the phase will turn on a small light inside, while, if we place it in the neutral cable, this light does not turn on. Warning, do not connect or manipulate anything with the active lines, to do this you must lower the lever of the keys to cut off the power supply. When we already know which is the phase and which is neutral, then we proceed to make the connections. From the phase cable, it is taken to the switch. From the switch comes the return cable and back to the octagonal box where the light bulb will be placed. This cable must be connected to the socket terminal indicated by the central part. While from the neutral cable a small cable is connected and then connected to the socket terminal indicated by the threaded part. This connection must be done this way for precaution and safety. If you connect it the other way around, the normal light bulb will turn on, but as I said, it would not provide much security if you want to change the light bulb since the threaded part would remain active and you could possibly touch it when changing it. If we already have all the wiring, we secure the socket to the octagonal box and place the light bulb. If everything is fine, then when you press the switch it should turn on or off. Connecting a double wall switch to two light bulbs. The electrical circuit is shown here, followed by a step-by-step -step explanation. For this circuit, there are two points for light bulbs and a single point for a double switch. After the phase and neutral wires have been passed through all the points, then from the point that has the pipe that goes to the switch, the cable from the phase is taken and connected to a terminal of each switch. There you have to make two connections or bridge so that both switches have the phase cable. From the remaining terminal of one of the switches, the return cable is taken to point 2. And from the other remaining terminal, the cable is taken to point 1. Both return cables must be connected in the central part of the socket. Obviously, when you do the wiring, you will pass all the necessary cables through the pipe at once, here for the explanation and so that you understand it is being done step by step. From the neutral cable at point 2, it is taken to the remaining terminal of the socket that indicates the threaded part. The same is done with the neutral cable at point 1. When we have all the connection, we secure the sockets at each point to the octagonal boxes and then we place the lights. We test whether the switches turn the lights on and off independently. Connection of triple wall switch to three spotlights. Here is the electrical circuit, below is the step-by-step -step explanation. In this case we have three points, where, from the first point, the pipe goes to the switch. If the third point is the last spotlight to be installed, and from points 2 and 3 there are no more lighting circuits to connect from such points, then it is not necessary to run the phase cable. From the first point, it is run to the triple switch and connected to each terminal of the switch, bridging between the three. Then, from the remaining terminals, the return cables are run to the three points and connected in the central part of the spotlight holders. Obviously, to reach the furthest points, the cable will have to be passed through the pipes and the other previous points. Then we connect the cable from neutral at all points, which must be connected to the terminal indicated by the threaded part of each socket. It is recommended to use colored cables as shown here so as not to get confused, and it is suggested that the color of the cables be according to the standard or regulation indicated by your country. For example, these cable colors are according to the standard of several countries, such as Peru, Chile, Mexico, among others. For Argentina it is different, its regulation indicates that the neutral cable must be light blue or blue and the phase cable must be brown or brown. Another thing that you may be asking yourself is why I have not used the green ground protection cable? And it is that nowadays, plastic boxes and sockets are mostly used, that is, not metallic ones and therefore there is nowhere to connect the ground cable and it would be unnecessary for you to place such a cable. But if in your country they use metal boxes and lamp holders, then you must use the ground protection cable which must be connected to the metallic parts or where indicated. 
connection of a simple wall switch to two lights. Here is the electrical circuit, which from a single switch will turn on and off two lights, below is the step-by-step -step explanation. In this case, we have two points where the phase and neutral cables pass through. If at the second point there are no more branches for lighting, then at the first point the phase cable is cut to turn it into a return cable. I'll explain it so you understand. From the first point we take the phase cable to a terminal of the simple switch. From the remaining terminal the return cable is taken to point 1 and connected to the socket where the central part indicates. Now, as at point 1 there is the cable that was phase, but now it is going to be used as a return, which must be connected to the same return cable that reaches the socket at point 1. Finally we connect the neutral cable to the remaining socket, attach it to the octagonal boxes and place the lights. When pressing the switch, it must allow both lights to be turned on or off at the same time. Another reason apart from safety why the phase cable must go to the switch is so that the lights do not flicker when they are off. Since, if the phase is not cut by the switch and goes directly to the lights, then possibly when they are off, at night you can see that they flicker as if they want to turn on. If in your case you have two phases and no neutral, in that case any of the phases can go to the switch. Connection of a simple wall switch to three lights. Here is the electrical circuit, which is similar to the previous circuit, except that here another light is added and they are connected in parallel. Below is the step-by-step -step explanation. The phase and neutral cables must pass through each of the points. If no deviation is going to be made through points 2 and 3 to another circuit, then the phase cable is cut at point 1 to use it as a return. At point 3 the cables are already connected to the socket since it is the last light. From the first point we take the phase cable to a terminal of the simple switch. From the remaining terminal we take the return cable to point 1 and connect it to the socket where the central part indicates. At point 1, we join the cable that was phased to the black return cable. We also connect the neutral cable to the terminal that indicates the threaded part of the socket. At point 2, from the red cable we take it to the central terminal of the socket, and from the neutral cable we connect it to the terminal of the socket that indicates the threaded part. That would be all the wiring and connection. Finally, we secure the sockets of each point to the octagonal boxes and then we place the lights. In this case, when pressing the switch, all the lights must turn on or off at the same time. You can consider more lights to turn on or off from a single switch, but always the connection between lights is in parallel and connected to the same return cable. If you want to know how to connect lights to turn on and off from two different positions, comment below. If you like this information, please like and share. See you later.